Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. These are general messages guys, so take what you need, leave the rest. However, if you should enjoy this read and it speaks to you on some level, feel free to leave behind a like, share and subscribe to let me know. Um, for those of you who are new and or returning, welcome everyone. I just want to remind you that I'm also over on Instagram where I do offer a variety of general reads over on my IGTV channel. So guys, if that should speak to you, feel free to go and peruse those reads. All the details are in the show more section below. And if you would like to work with me or purchase a reading with me, feel free to um, check the details in the show more section. Okay, Pisces, so we've got five cards here. We're going to be asking the tarot today, will my special person return? So this is for those of you Pisceans out there who have maybe recently or in the distant past uh, separated from someone and you've got someone on your mind and you want to know, look, will this person return? Will they speak to me ever again? Uh, will I hear from them? Will we get back together? Um, so, yeah. Stick around if this is your read. And uh, also, guys, stick around to the very end because we're going to be using the Everyday Tarot to conclude with a yes or a no answer. Okay? So these five cards here will form the main part of the read. We've got the Seven of Wands. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Cups. We've got the High Priestess and the Death card here. So the signs of the person you could be dealing with with the Death card here it could be a strong Scorpio or someone with Scorpio uh, in their astro chart. So maybe it's their moon, maybe it's their rising, maybe it's their Venus sign, okay? Okay, so in the recent past, it feels like with the Seven of Wands that this person has put their wall up, okay? I am seeing these wands um, encasing this woman, okay? They're, they're protecting her, they're shielding her. So I do feel like this person's put their wall up, okay? Uh, maybe you maybe you and this person had some kind of a disagreement or an argument um, and this person yeah at, at that time just their walls went straight on up okay um, I am getting the fit I'm I'm getting the sense that this person is feeling very defensive and I still feel like they're very much in that energy okay. So even if you were to reach out to them, I just feel like this person's blocked you, okay? There is very little to no contact with this person, okay? This person is on guard, and I feel like if you were to reach out to them, you're just, you're going to be met with, I feel like not a nice energy, okay? I feel like this person's been hurt. I feel like this person's been wounded, Um I mean, it could be their ego that they're trying to preserve here, but they're just not having a bar of it. Okay, they're just not having a bar of it. Even with the Four of Pentacles, this is someone who's really closed off. I mean, it could have been due to financial reasons. Maybe you knew this person through work. But I do get the sense that this person has really, really closed off to you. They're not letting you in. This is this is blocked energy, okay? Or maybe this person is trying to get to you. Maybe you've blocked this person out, Pisces, okay? Maybe you've shut off your energy to this person and no matter what this person does, they cannot penetrate your bubble, like they cannot get through. But I'm, I'm sensing that this person is very, very closed off, very closed up, very closed off. Um, it could be that they're trying to protect their heart, okay? Um, it would appear that this person's coming across very harsh as well. I feel like this person is trying to remain grounded. They're trying to, like, establish a sense of security within themselves, okay? And the only way that they can do that is to close their energy off to you full stop. OK, because I am seeing these four pillars and that to me is and it is a four of pentacles. I feel like this person is trying to reestablish or establish some sign of some kind of um, grounding energy. 
okay, some kind of security within themselves. Now, we've got the Six of Cups in reverse here. This could be someone that you've known for a really, really long time. You may share history with this person. This may be someone that you've known from childhood. At one point, you would have considered this person your very best friend, okay? You had a friendship here. They may have children or maybe you have children here. But the Six of Cups in reverse tells me that this person doesn't have very good memories, okay? They're remembering something. If they are thinking about you right now, they're remembering something that didn't go down too well, okay? They're, they've got something in their head that it, it's not it's not pleasant. It's a, it's a, it's a non-pleasant memory. Okay, and with the High Priestess in reverse here, this to me tells me that, you know, when I see the High Priestess, she is secrecy she's um mystery okay but something in the reverse tells me this is not so secret maybe something came out into the open here with the high priestess something was revealed something was exposed here um it's like the secret's out okay the secret's out Maybe this person, or maybe even you, Pisces, okay? You're an intuitive sign. Um, and even with the Six of Cups, you're a water sign. Maybe you don't have very good memory. Like when you think of this person, you're like, oh, I don't, I didn't like what they did. It's not very good. But I feel like you may try, you may be uh, wanting to disconnect from your intuition. I mean, you're very intuitive, Pisces, but... Maybe on some level you're trying to disconnect from your intuition because you don't want to believe it. I feel like you still may be uh, romanticizing this connection. Uh, you may still be fantasizing or daydreaming. You're, it's like you're trying to see the better side, but it's unrealistic. Okay, it's not what's real. So it could be that you're... I don't want to say delusional, but you could still be wearing your rose tinted glasses when it comes to this person. You may be justifying their actions. Um, yeah, that's what I see happening here. With the death card, this is a, a letting go. Okay, this is this is um, a natural evolutionary process that's taking place here. May, like, I feel like you're still holding on, uh, Pisces, but with the death card here, it, there's an energy of letting go, okay? Maybe this is definitely a, a, a clean and cut ending, okay? Maybe this person's never coming back. Maybe this person's never returning. Maybe you're never going to accept them back, okay? But the death card does speak to a natural ending, a letting go, um, and this is for the greater good, okay? Changes are ahead, okay? You may be right in the thick of transformation, okay? Or maybe this connection is right in the thick of transformation. It could be that your person is shedding and going through some major, major changes in their life right now. Maybe they're trying to overcome their own stuff with the death card here, Okay, so I always see the death card as a beautiful energy. Um, there's positivity in the death card because it means where there's an ending, there's a new beginning. Okay, where there's an ending, there's a new chapter, there's a new door being presented here. But whilst going through the changes, it doesn't feel very comfortable. It doesn't feel very nice. This is very transitional. Okay, it's transitional. It's not going to last forever. You will get through this. Okay, and the person in question will get through it. Um, it does speak to, I mean, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and this is all about the underworld, okay? So when I see the High Priestess in reverse and the Death card here, this is the underworld. There's This is destruction. This is the crumbling of old ways, old habits, old ways of being. So this is major, 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 you guys, okay? So there may, they, there may be even a major breakthrough. Uh, between you both or for this person or for yourself.
okay and I know you probably can't see it right now but you will when you come out the other side okay um yeah I'm seeing this as the transformation tunnel Okay, you may be experiencing a dark night of the soul. Your person may be experiencing a dark night of the soul. Um, I'm getting that strong sense that that's what's happening. So there's some kind of a spiritual awakening taking place here. Someone is awakening, waking up, becoming conscious, becoming more aware, becoming more enlightened here. Okay, so let's turn to the Everyday Tarot and let's get a clean cut answer of whether or not this person will be returning to you, Pisces, during this time frame. We are going to be taking the card at the bottom of the deck, not the card that pops out today. Spirit, angels and guides, will this person be returning to Pisces during this time frame? Seven of Swords. I don't feel so, Pisces. I have to say, you know, he's this energy is an energy of someone who's sneaking away here, uh, is looking back, possibly is thinking about you, maybe even has some kind of regrets here, okay? Um, maybe they did the wrong thing by you, okay? They know it. They know that they did. They know they de deceived you. They know they lied to you. They know they weren't being honest with you. Okay, but this person is looking back. Okay, so it tells me that, yes, they're thinking about you because it's swords energy. It's all about the mind. Okay, they are thinking about you and they also have regrets. Will they return? I don't think so. I feel like this person is walking away um, still very much uh, you're in their thoughts but they are walking away because they need to go through this change okay um, I'm, I'm even seeing that castle in the background right and this is this is for the greater good okay I feel like this is for the greater good so there we have it Pisces I hope you enjoyed this read please take care of yourselves and until next time I'll talk to you soon